Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here and welcome back to another Cardano video. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe and the notification bell so that you never miss an update. What I'm going to do today is take a quick look back at the week what has happened with Cardano? I am sitting down later today with DC from Liquid Finance to get an update on what is going on with the project and get his thoughts on the Alonzo launch as well. So you guys can expect that video to come out maybe over the weekend. I will try and get that together and get it out. So make sure you have notifications on if you want to check that out. As well, don't forget to give this video a like, leave a comment down below or share it out there. That really does help within the YouTube algorithm and no more wasting time. Let's jump into it and see what has been going on this week? There will be timestamps down below for those of you who want to skip to certain sections. Okay, so starting out here, just taking a look at the Cardano network is now fully decentralized for block production. We had D equals to zero event at the end of the last epoch, which means that going forward, all blocks within the Cardano blockchain are minted by community stake pools, just like the pool that I personally run myself. So it's a great stage to be at for Cardano. So it's a huge milestone in general for the project. It, look, it doesn't mean that Cardano is 100% decentralized now, but it means that we are well on the road to becoming decentralized down the line. So there's still other bits that needs to be done. We need to get on-chain voting with any parameter changes, any changes that are happening to the network. That type of voting needs to come on chain as well, and it will come on on chain at some point. We do see that that functionality is already there in terms of Project Catalyst. They are using the governance model built into the Cardano blockchain. So again, when we look at the latest Project Catalyst, we see the results are out for Fund 3. So I will leave a link to this document down below. You can see all of the projects that are going to get funded. I think funding is going to be distributed next week and along with that, the rewards for people who voted, you guys should get your rewards as well. So when we scroll down through it, you can see on top here, these are the order that the projects are the most popular projects, I suppose, in voting terms up on top. But this doesn't guarantee that it is only the top ones get funded because it comes to budget as well. If we scroll on down here, you can see that Liquid got Liquid was the most popular project out there and I am actually interviewing DC today so that video should come out over the next day or two as well so make sure you guys check that out and you can see they got the first dibs on the port on the total pot that was for that for this fund so their funding proposal budget is taken out of it and then it keeps moving down but you see here that this project did not get funded because when it got down as far as them, there was only 23,000 left in funding and they were looking for 24. So it has to be that you get all or nothing within this proposal. When you come down, you can see this project was only looking for 4,000, so they got funded. And the same down here, these were looking for 3,500. So again, when you are putting together your proposal for Catalyst, make sure that you have your costings right and that you definitely do need all of the funds that you're asking for because sometimes it could be the difference in getting funded and not getting funded. So then looking on, we see that Orion has partnered with IOHK. They are going to become the first liquidity aggregator to the Cardano blockchain. So they provide liquidity across blockchains. It is great to see partnerships like this coming into play for Cardano. And to me, this is only the first of many that are going to be coming in building on the Cardano blockchain. Again, I'm going to do a full video on what I see happening around the Alonzo launch. I think the first projects that actually launch on the Cardano blockchain, bring over their token, they build on Cardano, they're going to do extremely well. There will be huge explosion in the price of them types of projects. And I'm going to dig into that in a video. Probably next week, I will get that video out. So make sure you subscribe if you're not. Looking then at the NFT mania that is going on right now. So pool.pm, really great explorer here. What they have is kind of like, it's a visual explorer. You can look at pools, you can look at everything on this site here. They have done a really great job. It's a site that I use multiple times a day. So they've added in a new section here called tokens. So it's pool.pm forward slash tokens. And this shows all of the NFTs and all of the tokens that are moving on the blockchain and it shows them visually. So you can scroll down here, you can see space coins were moved here and then there was a space bud transferred here and you can see the 
space bud that was transferred. When we come down here, you can see 17 minutes ago, 18 minutes ago, there's a lot of these guys moving right now. So that shows the trading that is going back and forward. And there, to me, this is really positive for what is going to come. Whether you agree with the valuations and stuff like that on NFTs, I personally find it hard to see some of the valuations that are out there, but I love to see the action on the blockchain bringing in it's bringing adoption here. It's bringing more interaction across the blockchain, which is only going to help in the long term. So as we come down here, you see Cardano Kids have started their distribution as well. They're another NFT project. And I've seen two or three other NFT projects talking on Twitter, doing pre-launches this week as well. So again, it's great to see projects building, building action on the blockchain. And just to touch on that as well. So if we look at the daily transactions here, you can see over the last while, the transaction volume has started to increase for Cardano. And on pool, Ada Pools, I have shown this graph before. You can see they have now added in a purple section down here for assets moving on chain as well. So what this is doing is when you see these tokens moving, when you see these NFTs moving, this is bringing more and more transactions onto the blockchain. So Cardano isn't just a ghost chain anymore. There is real transactions happening on chain. And to me, this is only going to go up and up. And this is needed because when I done my video talking about the future rewards for staking and all of that, transactions are going to play a big part of that in the future. Currently, transaction fees make up a very small percentage of what is paid out in staking rewards. But over time, what we need is for transaction fees to make up more and more of that percentage. So again, I'm going to dig into that and talk more around numbers that would potentially be needed in transactional volume to keep the staking rewards rates up around that 5%. So I need to work on that and I need to dig deeper into the maths on it, but I will get that video out in the next few weeks as well. In general, this chart here is a good one to watch and also this one here looking at the epochs. So looking at the transactions per epoch. So in general, this is moving up nicely. You can see we had just under 200,000 in epoch 254. We had 170 in 255. 256 was down a little bit, but already we have just under 55 in 257. So I would expect this epoch to be very good for transactions. And when you see the number of NFTs moving over and back, and as you see more projects starting to build, these numbers will start to go up into the multiple millions of transactions per epoch over the next few months, I would expect. So then looking at IOHK's YouTube channel here. So we had Project Catalyst last week. David has done a really good, it's a Cardano 360 mini. So the main 360 event was three and a half hours long. It is way too long for lots of people out there. They want it summarized. And this video here does a really good job of that. It's just over seven minutes long. And again, I will put a link to it down below. Anyone interested in looking at the KVM and smart contracts, there is a good video here showing how Solidity smart contracts can be done on the KVM. So again, you guys can check that out. And also there's other good videos here looking at breaking down individual talks that happened on 360. So it's a good channel to be subscribed to if you are into Cardano as well. So then moving over to the price. So taking a look at where we are in terms of the price. Again, not a huge amount happening. So this is the hourly chart and lots of people talking about, is Cardano now a stable coin? So between a dollar and 18 cent there, even coming down to a dollar and 16, 17 and up to a dollar and 24, we are just trending within this range. So to me, this is a huge consolidation period right now. If we zoom this out on a bigger view here, you can see overall, we are still in very good shape with the Cardano price. So last week when I done the video, I said I wasn't trading last weekend. I had some trades in and out this week, but not a huge amount because right now I see this as an accumulation phase before we begin our really big run up. What you would realistically expect to see with this type of ascending triangle, and again, this chart here is looking at the daily. So every candle here is one day, always, try and zoom out to see what the overall, what the bigger picture is. Looking at something like, when I look at the hourly here, so when I'm trading, I'm looking at the hourly, I may even go into a 15 minute just to see what is happening here and now, because that's when I trade. 
I generally don't do big swing trades. I do in and out within a day. So again, I'd be looking at these types of ones. But when you want to see where the overall market is going, you need to zoom right out to something like this. Even the four hour is another good one to look at. So at the minute, you can see we are holding this uptrend here. So we did have come down and test it once again. Got a bit of a pump this morning. Nothing major in the news to suggest what exactly that was. So I'm not putting it down to any major events or anything like that. What you would expect to see playing out over the next few days, and I suppose over the next two weeks really, is moving up to try and test the all-time high again. I don't think we're going to get right up to it maybe up to around the 140 before coming back down to test this trend here. As we move towards the end of it, so into the middle of April, that's when I would personally expect a breakout of this area here. Generally, a pattern like this is a breakout to the upside and that would coincide with the test testnet for Alonso coming online or even some of the information coming out about that because that would probably be towards the end of April, beginning of May, the private testnet. But even leading up to that, we should get more announcements. And as you see, things like Orion coming out, if we get some more projects coming out, talking about their intention even to be launching on Cardano, stuff like that is really going to start setting us up for what I feel will be a huge run up when we are coming up to the Alonzo hard fork. Again, I have a pencil in here, the 1st of August, but that is not a definitive date at all. That could move out into the middle of August, but as we get closer, we should have a better idea of what's happening there. Looking at the ADA BTC chart then, you can see we're still struggling to get out of what is a bit of a downtrend here. We had a nice break on it. This is an hourly chart once again. So again, it's looking probably a little bit too close in. Let's come out to the four hour. And you can see we did have a nice breakout that was earlier this morning. We got a nice pump earlier on, having a bit of a pullback now and potentially coming back down to test 2000 sats level again. When we got the dip here, it was just under 2000 sats that we held. The same over here as well. We may come down and test that again. And again, you have to look at the Bitcoin price when you're looking at something like this as well, because Bitcoin has been doing fairly well lately. For anyone new, this is the price of one ADA against Bitcoin. And this is the chart that I constantly watch to see how we are performing against Bitcoin, because if you're looking to have an asset that is giving you big returns over the long term, you need to be outperforming Bitcoin. But you will go in cycles like we had this massive run up here, then we had our pullback, again we were in this phase here, we were way outperforming Bitcoin, once again had our pullback, and to me, once again, this is sort of like our consolidation phase all in around here, building up to what is to come over the next, I would say two to three months in the run up to Alonso and then the actual launch. Taking a quick look at the Bitcoin price then. So again, we're on the hourly here. Let's pull it out to the four hour. Bitcoin holding up very well right now. So still very much in the uptrend. We did have, a we dipped out of it in around here, around the 24th of March, out of it for a day or two and then back in. When we came back in, came down and tested it and moving very strongly right now. I would expect to potentially set an all-time high on the Bitcoin price over this weekend. But if that does play out and we do push up past the $62,000, then early next week, there is probably going to be a bit of a pullback because the CME and all of that is closed over the weekend. So when they open up next Monday or Tuesday, I'm not sure with the bank holidays and how they work in the States actually, with it being Easter, potentially, we will see the pullback down to fill up that CME gap. But again, I'm not too worried about it because I'm looking bigger picture. If we break up over 62, that's going to be very good for the market as a whole because anytime Bitcoin sets a new all-time high, it is only good news for the overall market. So thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you guys have a great weekend. If you have any family plans with Easter or anything like that, do enjoy them. I will be back next week. I will have the video out over the weekend probably of my talk with DC from Liquid Finance to get an update on how they are going on. So make sure you check that out and don't forget to hit like, share the video out there and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching guys, I do appreciate it.